Here's a class two on a bicuspid. And if you look real closely, you might be able to see a little decalcification going on in there. I put a matrix band on, and you may wonder, you notice all my matrix bands, they come straight out. I, it just makes my life easier. Uh, I don't have to worry about whether it's upper right or lower right. It all, it all, they all fit. Now, I made a custom matrix impression inside that matrix band, and notice this little, what I call a fin, coming out from that custom matrix impression. That's where the matrix band went into the matrix retainer. This fin is very helpful because without that fin, you would have a hard time telling what is the buckle and what is the lingual of this custom matrix impression. This allows me to set that back, in back inside the matrix band in the correct way. Now, there's another comment or question that often comes up, and please feel free to ask any questions that you have during this presentation. What happens if I don't get the matrix band on in exactly the same way? Well, because I'm using matrix bands that have some sort of memory to it, it's really pretty simple to get the matrix band on in pretty much the same orientation. But if it's not exactly correct, these custom matrix impressions are flexible enough that you can still seat your custom matrix impression with that matrix band slightly out of position. But it's easy to reproduce the positioning of that matrix band because of the memory of the metal. So we've cut our preparation. And notice the care that I didn't take in putting this composite in here. I have more composite than I need. I didn't take care on doing this. But if I'm careful about how I go ahead and acid etch, what you're going to see is I have you know, some flash over here and some flash over here, but that flash is going to be easy to remove if I don't acid etch the entire tooth. I'm just acid etching about a millimeter beyond where my cable surface margin ends. So here we are with our rounded, notice our rounded marginal ridge and very little occlusal adjustment to do on a patient that, in essence, you can see has worn a lot of uh, tooth structure away due to bruxism. 